start by telling you that I suffer from this disease first hand, first class. If there are stages to this disease, I suffer first stage and the last stage. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying, but like, <laughs> I just suffer from this disease. I procrastinate through my whole life. I've been procrastinating to make this video since forever. But finally, hey, finally. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing great and in the best of health. As you can see in the title above, today we're going to be talking about procrastination, wasting time, doing things that you shouldn't be doing at the time. I know you're guilty of this, so I hope my tips and tricks will help you and benefit you and you get something from this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell button to be notified every single time I upload a video. I upload videos weekly. If you're not new, welcome back and thanks for sticking around. Before <laughs> Before I start, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Um, it really means a lot. I see all of you new subscribers. It really means a lot. Welcome to the tea farm. I will not disappoint. Okay, let's dive in. Your brain will always look for the best way to be comfortable. And that is why we procrastinate. Your brain tells you you're going to do it tomorrow. Like, you can do it tomorrow. You have the whole week. You have the whole month. You have the whole year. You can just chill. You can relax. Like, your brain tricks you to making you think that procrastinating is actually you making progress. So you're like, what? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Just chill. Like, it makes you feel and believe that you're progressing but you're actually not you're moving backwards and you're not being productive in any way and that's why you should always defy your brain when it tells you ah now you're gonna be more energetic tomorrow you might as well just do it tomorrow Ah, just chill you know what tomorrow we're gonna be more inspired so let's do it tomorrow you should defy your brain and be like nope that inspiration I'm going to have tomorrow, I'm going to bring it today and we're going to do this today. Because once you defy your brain, then it be like, okay, okay, let's do it then. Like your brain is like that. You can actually change your mindset. You can change your mind anytime and your brain will move with the flow. But when you're moving with the brain's flow, is you moving backwards. So you might as well not do that at all. And the other thing I'm going to tell you is free time. Whenever you have your free time, your brain can't think of what to do. So we just end up doing stuff that we really don't want to do. We live unintentionally. We do stuff unintentionally. Like we have no reason. Like we're just doing stuff. We're just living. And that is wrong in so many levels. And that's why most of the time we have a free time. It's like, ugh, I'm free now, so let me just scroll through Instagram. Let me just watch this videos. Let me watch this movie. Just because you have nothing else to do. But you do, but your brain make, is making you feel like, ugh, we don't have nothing to do. Like, it's just putting you in that mindset of, let's just chill. It's, well, your brain will always do that, and that's why we always procrastinate. And I'm here to tell you, whenever you have a free time, I'm going to give you a secret for not procrastinating. Eating. I'm going to give you a secret for when you don't know what to do because sometimes we want to do something with our lives we want to do something with our day we want to spend our day productively we want to do this do that do that but then like you're not ready and you don't know what to do so you end up wasting your whole day scrolling and just chilling and eating and just doing nothing to be honest so I'm going to tell you what to do when you don't know what to do and the three things to consider doing self-care social time studies stroke work these are the three things that we do on a daily basis these are the three things that we should be doing every single day it just depends what time it is and what's appropriate to do at the moment but these things are going to help you be productive are going to help you not procrastinate they're going to help you do ish and not just to waste your days and waste your time every single day i'm going to start by explaining what i mean by self-care every single time you have time but you don't know what to do think to yourself have i have i given myself time today my solo time have i spent my day with myself when was the last time i did something for me this can be a skincare, it can be yoga, a workout, take a walk, music, have a nap if you're tired, shop, just take the time to do something for you. 
And that's what I mean by self-care. The second thing is social time. When was the last time I connected with my loved ones? If it's been a while, that's the time to connect with your loved ones. That's the time to call your loved ones. That's the time to FaceTime your mother, your dad, your brother, your husband. I don't know where he is, but like, <laughs> you know, like that's the time to do that and connect to the people in your life. That thing is study stroke work. When is the last time I actually did work? When is the last time I studied? Well, I have exams in two weeks. When was the last time I studied? I should be getting to that. And so if your mind is fresh to do that, do it. When was the last time I did my work? Do it. Like always remind yourself what is the most appropriate thing to do at the time. I am telling you this one, these three things are going to help you do ish every single day. Because these are the thing, things that like, this is, this is just the perfect antidote. Self-care, social time, work, stroke, t- study, stroke, you know, the do mindset. These things are going to help you. Thank me later. <laughs> the other thing I'm going to tell you is um, the steps. How to be productive. How not to procrastinate. These are seven steps that are going to help you. I've already told you three things to consider doing whenever you don't know what to do. So now I'm going to tell you how not to procrastinate. Even if you're actually doing one of these things, how not to procrastinate. The first one is forgive yourself for past procrastinations. We're always procrastinating. And when we want to procrastinate, we're like, Man, I've already procrastinated for the past three months, so I might as well just chill. You should forgive yourself for all the past procrastinations and move forward. The second thing is redefine what success means to you. Sometimes it's too late. It's too late. We can't study anymore. If we study our pass mark, our success pass mark was supposed to be 90%. And we know if we study right now, I only have like two hours to study, so I can't reach... 90% I can't get 90% so redefine your success make it 65% I'm gonna get 65% you have redefined your success and so you're gonna walk to that and you're not gonna lose hope because okay I just know I'm not gonna get the 90 you have already redefined what success means to you the third thing is schedule write your to-do list Um, make scheduling your best friend always take notes I'm supposed to do this, then this, then this, then this. And always write according to priority. Do all the, the things that you're supposed to do fast, fast. Don't make it like down there and then you're just doing all these other things that should, can wait or like could have waited. Always like prioritize your tasks. The other thing is remove distractions. We all have distractions, whether it's a friend, whether it's your phone, your social medias, Whatever it is, like, just remove all the distractions. The other thing is do not multitask. Don't multitask. Don't be like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Like, I'm doing this. All of them together. Like, don't do that. That's just a no-no. Always break your tasks and projects and goals to smaller steps. Like, if you're supposed to do, like, a bunch of things, this goes, this just, just goes back to, like, scheduling. Break your tasks. Say, I'm going to do this and this and this and this. Then this. Don't like try to do everything at once. Another thing is take breaks. Take breaks. Whenever you feel like you're tired and you just can't take it anymore, take breaks. Don't just overwork your body and you're not doing things the right way. Take breaks when you need to take breaks. The last thing is, this is very important, remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing. You chose the job you have. You chose the work you have. You chose to be a YouTuber, so you might as well remember why you chose that and do it. Remember why you chose the course you're doing whenever you feel like you don't want to study. Remember, hey, once upon a time, this was my dream. Always remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing and you will do it. Obviously, obviously, once you remember your passion, once you like ignite that passion in you, you're going to do it and you're not going to feel crappy doing it because you're going to remember, hey, this is my joy. Like, let's do this. You know, I really hope you got something from this video. I feel like I was all over the place. I don't know why. 
I just feel like that. But anyway, <laughs> whoa. Anyway, I hope you got something from this video. I hope you took some notes. If you haven't, I've written them down below in the description box. Go check them out. And you will remember every single thing that I said. And I hope it benefits you. Share this video with your friends and family. Trust me, we all procrastinate. Even the most productive people in our lives procrastinate. So share this video with them. Comment down below more video ideas, more tea talks you'd like me to talk about in the future. Comment them down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And see you guys next time. Bye.